People often come to the U.S. and hope to see all the amazing landmarks our great country has to offer. With such a vast amount of land and 50 total states, we could make a really long video on this. Whether it's strange colorful places, or geological formations, or just strange random stuff you don't expect to see, here are the weirdest places in the U.S. Number 17. The Fly Geyser, Nevada The Burning Man Festival is probably one of the weirdest places when it's going on, but this thing here is all year round. If you randomly came across this geological structure, you would probably think you're an entirely different planet. This small made geothermal geyser in northern Nevada is called the Fly Geyser and was created accidentally while drilling for sources of geothermal energy. The minerals from below Earth's surface cause it to continually spew out and it's actually been purchased as private property to be showcased during the Burning Man Festival. It's quite colorful considering it was sort of an accident and only semi-man-made. The strange colors come from a thermophilic algae which loves warm temperatures. Number 16. Morning Glory Pool, Wyoming We could probably put the entire national park of Yellowstone on this list, but we'll get more specific here. In case you thought it was only man-made structures that are colorful, think again. The colors on this hot spring seem to take up the entire spectrum. The strange colors of this pool are caused by a large variety of bacteria that live there. After an earthquake, this pool has the potential to turn into a geyser. It's believed to have been more colorful at some point, but people began throwing trash into it and it slightly altered its appearance. Number 15. Mount Kilauea, Hawaii The world's most active volcano has been steadily erupting since 1983, and we've seen its destructive capabilities just recently on the island. It may not be considered a supervolcano, but its unpredictability is what makes it truly dangerous. Over the past few decades, the highest peak on this volcano has actually gotten higher. That means this thing is still going off, and its activeness doesn't seem to be slowing down. Lava gets spewed on nearly a daily basis, and you can often find lava pools such as this one in the crater. Number 14. Clown Motel, Tonopah While there are plenty of strange geological formations in the U.S. that we'll get to later on, the Clown Motel rightfully deserves a place on our list. Not only is it possibly one of the weirdest hotels you could possibly check into, it could also be one of the most haunted. It's located right near an old cemetery which contains the tomb of people who used to mine for silver here. The area was settled in 1900 after news of silver had spread, but maybe not every miner wanted to leave Tonopah empty-handed. Maybe their spirits have lingered around at this clown motel. If the possibility of ghosts is enough to scare you off, the clowns probably should. <laughs> Go ahead and stay the night here, if you dare. Number 13. Cadillac Ranch Located within the desert of eastern Texas near Amarillo, Chef Lord Hudson Marquez and Doug Michaels buried 10 vintage Cadillacs nose down in the name of art. Despite many of them being graffitied, it seems as though the people of this town appreciate the random art installation, almost like a modern day Stonehenge in a sense. Number 12. Utah Evaporation Pools A surprising addition to the desert landscape in Utah, you might think the sun is playing tricks on your head if you came across this evaporation pool. Although it looks extremely refreshing, you probably don't want to hop in there. The pool contains potassium salt crystals, and eventually, when the pool evaporates, you're left with a more pure potassium crystal. The different shades of the pool basically shows you how much water is left over. Number 11. California City Planned to be the next major city of California, a real estate developer decided to buy 80,000 acres of land of the Mojave Desert in 1958. With dreams of creating the next master plan city, his dreams fell totally flat, and it's basically a giant wasteland. The city just wasn't meant to be. The primary residents who moved here were people who work on the Edwards Air Force Base and California City Correctional Center. If you look at it from an aerial point of view, you can pretty much tell the streets were built, but the buildings just aren't there. You might get a little bit of an eerie vibe by checking out this city on Google Maps. They expected a population of Los Angeles, but only got 14,000 people or so. Population continues to decline, and the Air Force might just decide to use this city as a test range. Number 10. Lombard Street, San Francisco A famous road in the U.S. is known for being just a little bit weird. While most streets try their best to stay in the straight path, this road is certainly the crookedest street in the world. Although this street is doing its best to stay a little bit different from the rest of the streets out there, it's got to be a nightmare to drive on. It tracks up to 17,000 people during the summer weekends, and it's an iconic symbol of San Fran. But first, we'd like to thank this subscriber for leaving us this awesome comment. Number 9. Walking the Sky, Pennsylvania 
This 100-foot statue is soaring over the sky at a 25-degree angle. The statue was inspired by the father of the designer. He said his father told him to travel to the sky and talk to a giant that told them what needed to be done and then come back on Earth. Number 8. Tick Tock the Crocodile If you remember seeing the movie Hook, you're probably familiar with the story of Peter Pan. So that means you should probably remember Tick Tock the Crocodile. This depiction here immortalized a crocodile found in Mountain View, California at a train station. It featured two kids sitting on the back of a crocodile, which really seems like a bad idea. Normally, when people come across this statue, their kids love to get a photo with it. Number 7. Whittier, Alaska Outside of a couple of cities, the state of Alaska is pretty remote and the rest of the towns are quite small. But could you imagine an entire city where all the residents actually live within the same building? A 14-story former barracks building was transformed into an interior city. The police department, post office, church, playground, and medical center are all found right here. Hopefully they got a fire department too, because one flame might bring this whole city down. The population of Whittier remains a cozy 200 people. Number 6. The Mutter Museum If you enjoy weird medical mysteries and oddities, the Mutter Museum might be the place for you. This is most likely one of the weirdest places in the US and the world. Here you can find frightening things like jars filled with peeled off human skin, hippopotamus bat from South Africa, a book bound in human skin, and all sorts of horrific things that might keep you up at night. Don't forget about the slices of Einstein's brain on display that were taken without permission and kept in this. They also house a large inventory of skulls that were used to see if craniums hold some sort of anatomical differences from different parts of the world. If you're not slightly creeped out by this place, there's something wrong with you. Number 5. Hell, Michigan Sounds like a nice spot for a honeymoon, right? This is a fairly ironic name for a state that gets quite a bit of snowfall each year. On a cold winter day, hell could literally freeze over. The town was originally built by a bunch of rowdy bootleggers, and when the city founder was asked what he should call it, he said, I don't care, you can name it hell for all I care. The name stuck, and the residents have embraced the evil name and have utilized it to their advantage for tourism. Some of the city's websites encourage people to buy land here so they can own a little piece of hell. Don't let the devil get the best of you if you visit their liquor store. You can even get married by the devil himself. Just don't sell your soul. <laughs> Number 4. The American Stonehenge, Washington State Would you believe that America has its own Stonehenge? And we're not talking about the one in the Great Lakes. Okay, we'll admit, this one is a little bit more modern, but it's still some of it a weird sight to see. Dedicated in 1918, this was to remember those who lost their lives in one of the most intense wars of human history. A full-scale replica of the Stonehenge in England was erected and finally completed in 1918. Since Stonehenge was once an area where sacrifices took place, what better way to honor the people who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country? Number 3. Georgia Guideline Stones Many say this monument is proof that secret societies are trying to make their presence known. Located in the state of Georgia, many have claimed that it predicts impending doom on mankind since it states one of the guidelines to keep the world population under 500 million people. So with nearly 7 billion people, that means about 6.5 billion people need to vanish somehow. Others believe that this was built by doomsday preppers who fear nuclear annihilation. Let us know what you think about it in the comments section. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Number 2. Meteor Crater, Arizona Imagine the apocalyptic event when a massive meteorite struck Earth in the Arizona desert. This strange place here in the US has many visitors and it's a clear reminder that the Earth is vulnerable to massive impacts from outer space. It's roughly 560 feet deep with a diameter of 3,900 feet. That's more than half a mile wide and it's clearly visible from outer space. It even rivals with craters that were created with nuclear bombs. Astronauts who were preparing for moon landings were sent here in order to understand the lunar environment. The old mine shaft that we see here was used to gather fragments of a meteorite, which are still on display at the museum. Number 1. Mary Laveau Voodoo House, New Orleans Everyone who's had the chance to visit New Orleans will tell you that it's a blast, but they might have been a little bit spooked out by the voodoo house. Not only is the voodoo shop claimed to be haunted by the spirit Queen Marie Laveau, there's all kinds of creepy stuff on sale here. Many spiritual items are on sale as well as spells, tarot card readings, and the whole place seems like a voodoo temple of doom. There's also an altar where people will put on spells for each other. The wild rituals and the actual voodoo that's been said to happen here seems to make it a pretty weird place. 